Hi, this is Trista again for part three of uh, President Sanders' um, non-concession speech uh, interspersed and peppered with my own analysis m myself, uh, Trista D. Genova Chang, a Berkeley and Oxford educated political scientist. And um, so, uh, and if you like, uh, if you enjoy, if you're enjoying this, uh, please do like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Yeah, sm smash it. Okay, s smash it. So, together, our canvassers knocked on more than 5 million doors. Together, we hosted 74,000 meetings in every state and territory in this country. In fact, my, my pad, my, my little eco branch, I hosted, I'm proud to say. Together, 2.7 million people made over 8 million individual contributions to our campaign. More contributions at this point than any campaign in American history. Amazingly, the bulk of those contributions came from low-income and working people. You know, you know that that's like bloods, bloods money, man. Those people work so hard. Those are like tips of waitresses and stuff. Who, working people whose donations averaged $27 a piece. It actually went up a bit. In an unprecedented way, we showed the world that we could run a strong national campaign without being dependent on the big money interests whose greed has done so much to damage our country. Ain't that the truth? Thank you for speaking the truth, President Sanders. And let me give a special thanks to the financial support we received from students struggling to repay their college loans, including myself, from seniors and disabled vets on social security, which is gonna be yanked from them, from these corrupt as fuck GOP and DNC, fuck them, you know, they're all in it together. It's a fucking setup. From workers earning starvation wages. It's true, man. Only Bernie cares about us. And even from people who are unemployed. You think Mr. Joe Biden gives a shit about the unemployed? He's, he's like out of that, he's like out of it barely keeping a shit together. That's we use chicken shit to to uh, debate President Sanders. So uh, in every single state that we contested, we took on virtually the entire political establishment. Ain't that the truth? I mean, Michael Moore was talking about six fronts that's, that are attacking President Sanders from the DNC elites, corporat corporations, uh, as well as Trump as well as Wall Street, as well as insurance companies who are fucking scammers and they should be sued out of existence. <clears throat> um, we must continue working together into the future. This campaign has never been about any single candidate. It is always about transforming America. It is about ending a campaign finance system which is corrupt and fucking broken and racist and allows billionaires to buy elections like, like Bloomberg and... Uh, <clears throat> What's his face? <sighs> Andrew Yang, even. It is about ending the grotesque level of wealthy and income inequality that we are experiencing, where almost all new wealth and income goes to the people on top, of course. Mr. And Mr. Trump is, uh, you know, the big swamp monster in chief. <clears throat> where the 20 wealthiest people own more wealth than the bottom 150 million people. Half of America, 150 million people, 20 people, 20 of the wealthiest people, they own more. How many fucking cars do you need in houses? Just need one fucking house, one fucking car at most. It is about creating an economy that works for all of us, not just the 1%. You know, Be, uh, fucking CNN or all this fucking, all of them are fake news, actually including, uh, of course, Fox News Media, but <clears throat> they're, um, you know, instead of uh, <clears throat> um, thanking uh, President Sanders for being uh, consistent in, in his goals, he's had the, the same goals and, and uh, altruistic ones for decades, and all they can say is that this is just a stump speech. Uh, I tell them, go fuck yourselves. Anyway, welcome back to... Um, Hard four in a minute.